Hi, Todd here with Lawson Free and Digital Products. Today we want to talk to you about a new product that we just brought in. It's DTF powder and DTF film. Uh, the way this process works is you can use your existing Epson F2000 or F2100 DTG printer. Uh, for those of you that do not have own this printer but have been kind of on the fence and thinking about getting one, this just may be another thing that you can justify buying one and using it in your shop. Uh, two simple supplies. There's the powder, which all is basically a glue, and then you have the film that you print your image onto to transfer onto a t-shirt. Let's go out to the printer and see how it works. All right, now that we're in Garma Creator, I'm going to set up my two different profiles. The first profile is going to be where I'm only printing the color on a light colored garment. Once I'm done creating that profile, I'm going to create a second profile where I'm only printing white ink on a dark garment. If you're going to press this image on a light colored garment, you don't have to use the second profile. The white acts as a base. All right, now that we have our profiles created, let's send it to the printer and see how it turns out. As you can see from the blue indicator light, the printer has received its profile and it's going to go in and print our first layer. Once it comes out, we're going to leave a pause for the ink to just gel for a second. You can build this pause into Garment Creator if you wish. And then we're going to switch to our second profile and print the white base on top of the color. As you can see, the white is done and we're ready to go put the powder adhesive on. As you can see here, I like to keep my adhesive in any kind of a tub and I'm just going to put one end of it down into the tub and put some powder on the edge of the film. Then I'm going to kind of fold the film like a taco if you will and roll that powder back and forth across the image until I have some of the adhesive sticking across the whole image. Once I've dumped the excess powder off the film I'm going to hold it upright and kind of tap it a little bit to get some of the powder off and then I'm going to flick it real hard with my fingers to get as much of that powder off as I possibly can. If you leave too much of that excess powder on the film it will press onto your shirt and it, will, it won't it will look good so you want to get as much of that powder off of there as you possibly can. Once you're certain that you've gotten all of the adhesive off of the film except for the adhesive that's on your art, we're going to go over to the heat press and we're going to hover the heat press over our artwork for roughly three minutes at 370 degrees. Now I'm going to line up the shirt and hit it quickly with the heat press to take any moisture out of the shirt so that our adhesive will bond to the shirt the best that it can. Once we've removed all the moisture from the shirt, we're going to take our film and place it onto the shirt so that it's not crooked or sideways. Once we have everything lined up, I'm going to use a Teflon sheet over the film and I'm going to heat press it at 325 degrees for 15 seconds using a medium pressure. Once the heat press releases, it's now time to take the shirt and lay it on the table. This film is a cold peel. Once it is cool to the touch, I'm going to start at one corner and start to peel the film back going to the opposite corner. Once the film is removed, I'm going to take it back over to the heat press and lightly heat press it with a Teflon sheet for roughly 5 seconds just to ensure that the adhesive sticks to the garment. Once you're done with all these steps, you should have a bright, opaque image with virtually no fibrillation.